All right, let's do this. Ito yung uh, important episode talaga itong highlight natin. Obviously, we we were talking the previous episodes about how our allies and partners can help the Philippines and and that behind the scenes perhaps they're pressuring Marcos Jr. to adopt a more humane or human rights friendly approach and that's why I won't be surprised that the Delima Senator Delima's you know uh the positive turn in events for Senator Delima perhaps may have a thing or two to do I mean just look at the congratulatory almost tweets from ambassadors of US and other countries so clearly invested sila sa issue na yan, no? I mean what is your read on that aspect well Itong kay Laila de Lima was long delayed. A month before the elections, nung halos sigurado na na mananalo si BBM, in-interview ako ni Patrick Paez sa 1PH. Sabi ko, ito yung isang low-hanging fruit na pwedeng gawin ni President-elect Bongbong Marcos dahil hindi, hindi kinakailangan ng legislation, hindi kinakailangan ng uh, major agreements. No? It's, not, uh, it's not a huge effort. Pero magbabago yung kanyang image no? within the country but most importantly outside the country. Kung papalayain niya or papayagan niya mag-bail si Laila de Lima, lalo na yung evidence naman ay masyadong manipis at hindi naman niya kaaway si Laila de Lima. So, inulit ko yan last year, several times, no? Uh, nangyari na binigyan nila ng uh, lifeline si Laila last year. Ang sabi nila, oh, Laila, sabihin mo lang na meron kang serious illness, no? Ikaw ay papalabasin namin sa preso, hospital arrest, and even house arrest. It's almost bail. Ang sabi ni Laila, ibig sabihin magsisinungaling ako? Ibig sabihin, sasabihin ko na may ganitong klaseng karamdaman para wala, hindi ko gagawin yan. I will just stay here. no? Kahit most of the time, solitary confinement ako. No? The early this year, nangyari uli yan. Binigyan nila ng lifeline si Laila na uh, gamitin yung uh, habeas corpus, uh, humanitarian grounds na ginamit ni, ni Gigi Reyes, chief of staff ni... ni ex Senate President and really na na na, na nakakulong for almost 10 years, di ba? Sabi ni Laila, teka teka. Iyan ay ginagamit yung yung judicial yung uh, yung judicial proceedings niyan are basically yung mga may hina ang kaso kaya ini-invoke yung humanitarian grounds. Ang tingin ko sa kaso ko ay malakas, no? Ito ay isang lifeline na ino-offer ng gobyerno, ng uh, Secretary of Justice, no? para uh, gamitin ko. Pero ang gusto ko, gumawa kayo ng judgment doon sa merits of the case. Yun ang naging debate no? kaya nagalit si Secretary Remulia. At in-emphasize ni Laila, judge me on the merits of my case. Kaya tumagal pa siya ng, ng maraming buwan. P- pwede na ma-avail yun eh. Diba? Kaya ang ang sinasabi lang natin no, uh, maraming pangyayari na pwede sanang naiwasan, pwedeng napaaga, no? Uh, na na both positive for Lila and for the government, di ba? Pero maraming considerations no, eh. Magag- Tingin ko yung unsaid, magagalit ba si Digong? Di ba? Lalo na uh, in the past year, hindi pa naman ga- ganoon ka full blown yung away. Ngayon, full-blown na eh. No? Kaya uh, they're willing to bend backwards. Hindi nila didiinan yung korte. Hindi nila didiinan yung judge. Unlike nung uh, previous government. No? And in a way, uh, to make a long story short, nakapag-bail si Laila. No? Pero using the merits of the case, dapat earlier pa yan eh. Diba? Dapat earlier pa yan, no? Hindi naman hindi naman nagmamakaawa si Laila eh. Hindi naman siya nagmamalimos eh. Hindi naman siya humihingi ng humanitarian uh, help eh. Siya sabi lang niya, this is my case. It could have done, been done earlier, no? Pero ngayon, even it's it's late, pwedeng gamitin niya ni Bongbong, no? Sa kanyang rebranding, sa kanyang reinvention of their Marcos name, no? Dahil uh, makakatulong 'yan, makakadagdag doon sa kanyang image around the world. At kung ganda lang image niya, yung pinag-uusapan natin earlier about uh, commitments, investments, no in this part, in this unique country, in this region, ay baka mas ma- makakita tayo ng, ng fruition. No? Pwede, right. pwede mangyari yan. Isang magandang element yung nangyari kay Laila. 
Dahil three to four resolutions na nilabas ng European Parliament. Two resolutions yeah, ng dami, US Congress. Diba? No? US Senate One resolution yeah. ng US Senate. No? Two resolutions ng Interparliamentary Union. Etc. Etc. Diba? Yun lang naman sinasabi ko. It could have been done earlier. Um, so essentially the argument is this was a relatively low-hanging fruit, late corrective move with relatively minimal also cost for BBM. Now, uh, of course, we discussed also the ICC option, but one of the issues we haven't discussed is yung case ni Walden Bellio, right? Because in a way, it's it has a family resemblance to the to the Delima case, right? Because at least the position of the Walden camp is he's, he's being politically persecuted for taking a very strong stance against yung pangalawang pangulo ng bansa because the person who's on the other side of this case is a chief communications person of the current uh, vice president. And of course, this is also raising a bigger question about um, uh, weaponization of cyber libel. No? And uh, so what is your read on the Walden Bell? Do you think that Walden Bell you can come uh, or, or Le Leila de Lima perhaps can express solidarity because her case is not an isolated case, right? It looks like, yeah. you know, marami na carry over na mga ganitong legal cases from the past. From well, the first of all, no? First of all, our libel, uh, libel laws are patterned after the U.S. No? And very clearly, isang essence ng libel is the presence of malice. Mahirap patunayan ang malice dahil nasa loob ng utak mo yan. No? Un unless merong narinig ka sa isang tape recording or video na talagang sinasabi mo, eh, hey, talagang gusto ko lang wasakin ito. No? So, based on that term of reference, no? ay dapat uh, malakas yung malakas yung kaso in favor of Walden no yun yung at unless talagang pe-pressurein mo yung mga judges pe-pressurein mo yung mga witnesses no katulad ng ginawa kay Laila de Lima yun yung similarity no pero kung ito yung normal judicial uh, procedures natin medyo mahirap manalo yung libel pero yun nga di ba so I, I get your your point my yeah. thing is in the Philippines even if mahina yung kabila, sa sobrang bagal nung takbo ng hustisya, you're yeah. going years stressed out and financially drained. Even when yes. you're facing a lalo, lalo, uh, lalo na yung kaso ay nasa Dabao. No? Ibig sabihin, yung, yung kaharian ng mga Duterte. Tapos pupunta ka ron, eh baka mamaya paglabas mo ng korte, madulas ka sa balat ng saging. Di ba? No? It's it's a dangerous place for critics of the Duterte, no? At uh, hindi na natin kailangan ipaliwanag bakit, di ba? Yan yung kwan. So, ang unang dapat gawin ni Walden, ipalipat sa Manila, no, sa korte sa Manila yung kaso, no? Just or to be take safe. it to the Supreme Court even and watch oh, the whole cyber libel oh. case and say this yes, is Yes, pero hindi ka pwedeng magpan eh, mag uh, forum hopping eh. So, usually kailangan dumaas ka kung nasaan siya nandoon, no? So yun yung uh, pero mga abogado na ni Kuyan. Ako hindi, hindi ako abogado eh. I'm just uh, no, I'm going to interview uh, actually, yeah. you know, people in his team soon yeah. uh, and yeah. also Laila Dalima. So don't worry, you don't have to go there. But in yeah. terms of political environment because we know, you know, our judicial system doesn't operate in a complete vacuum. Do yeah. you think the political bamboo is swinging well, favor yeah, I think favorable. Well, ngayon, mas, mas favorable kay Walden, no? Auspicious. Dahil the Duterte are not as strong as a few months before. No? So, yan yung pan. Pero, alam mo naman si Walden Boy, no? eh, matindi rin yung banat niya sa gobyerno. Diba? So, <laughs> so, uh, neither uh, nor siya eh. Neither, oh, so, neither nor Marcos. So, hindi ko naman sinasabi na bawasan niya yung kanyang criticism. Sinasabi ko lang, uh, uh, things as they are, no? hindi niya pwede, baka hindi niya magamit yung weakening ng Duterte sa ating uh, judicial system kung babanatan niya uh, in, the in the same sharpest line yung uh, gobyerno na indirectly sabi mo nga we don't live in a vacuum pwedeng mag-exert ng pressure sa courts but Ronald what if yeah. it's not about Walden as irritable as he may be with the powers that 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 uh, that be but it's more like hitting the other side right like you know <laughs> what I'm saying right maybe in that cynical way I mean there's, there, there could be that potential angle no yeah. um now Ronald, uh, the thing is, siguro, one of the things I noticed, and correct me if I'm wrong, kulang tayo sa culture of solidaridad. No? I mean, I remember when I was with, with Leila, I, I said a few years ago, maganda sana na mag-join press conference sila. Of course, siya overline, online, Zoom, whatever, or video, whatever. 
with Lenny and uh, all uh, Sereno and uh, and Maria yeah. Elsa and all of that. And and for some reason that thing never happened. We never saw all these women in the same fora standing together kind of wala eh like, parang kanya-kanyang diskarte nangyari, 'di ba? Yung isa all around the world holding the line yung yung mantra, yung isa um but I was thinking sana ngayon ma, like Leila Delima could become the kind of a pivot of a, more of a culture of solidarity. Kasi kaya nga I'm pushing for RRL, RRC, yeah. RRM. Like this for yeah. me part of hindi tayo magko-compete dito for audience. We we can work together and push for public education and knowledge. You and I working is a form of solidarity. Sabi nga ni Leloy, therapy nga sa kanya, yung mga conversation natin. <laughs> yeah. So, I'm just hoping that this Delima and Walden and all that could be a kind of a microcosm or mitochondria for a more of a culture of solidarity which is close to our heart as progressives. But it doesn't seem to be a liberal Filipino culture, right? Pag mga liberal sa Philippines, I, I, I don't know. For some reason, I didn't see yeah. as much. Or maybe I'm just wrong. Sorry. Cup half full, half empty. No? Nung six years ni Digong, ang hirap dahil lahat dinemonize eh. Diba? Diba? Lahat dinemonize eh. Isn't that precisely why you should come together or you're saying ayaw nila ma-package? Hindi naman. Uh, limawa si Pinoy nung buhay pa. Ang sabi niya, ayoko naman parang uh, ako eh, isang bitter ex-president na sasabihan kagad yung presidente no? at uh, babanatan kagad siya. So nag- nagbigay siya ng counting space bago siya nagsimulang mag-criticize. Diba? Yun ang ginawa niya. Si si Lenny naman naging bahagi ng cabinet. 'Di ba? Naging bahagi siya ng cabinet for a while, eh. 'di ba? Eventually ay uh, na-realize nila digong yung kanilang mistake. Tinanggal din siya with extreme prejudice. Si si Sereno, pakita naman natin, na, natanggal, 'di ba? As a as a chief justice, no? Using this uh, co warrant to something, no? Uh, Etc. At in between, ang daming patay. There were thousands of deaths. So yung yung iba ay ay nagwo-worry baka mangyari sa kanila yan, no? Uh, natatakot, no? Yung sinasabi mo halimbawa na na, na nagbiyahe ng marami, etc. Nangyari yan after the election, after Digong. Pero during the Digong, walang walang coordination eh, 'di ba? Uh, tattered, fragmented yung opposition. Nakita mo naman yung 8 diretso in 2019, no? First time in the history of the country na not a single opposition ay nanalo. So makikita mo yung pan eh, yung hindi lamang yung offensive ng gobyerno, yung demonization, yung fear, sowing of fear. Nakita mo rin yung epekto nito sa opposition, no? They were practically decimated, they were practically uh, uh, marginalized. No? Kaya hindi ko sinasabi this is an excuse dahil some of us continue fighting in spite of that. Diba? Yan yung nangyari. Pero sinasabi ko, iba ngayon. No? Whether you like it or not, there's more space. No? There's more freedom of the media. There's more... No? Kaya nga, ang dami nagtsatsaga sa akin ngayon. Dati wala mong tsatsaga sa akin nung panahon ni Digong eh. Ngayon, nagtsatsaga na, no? From uh, morning show to evening. Uh, evening, hey Darian, no? Oo, oh, uh, dami nagtsatsaga. Pero nung panahon ni Digong, baka magdalawang isip yung mga media. Diba? Nung, uh, so, well, I can tell you a lot. I was in the media. It was so hard when, when I started bashing na Duterte. Kasi, diba? Ah, diba? Oh, I paid the diba? price uh, in terms of my career. I, that's why I'm not, you know, anchor or something like that. Although, I didn't need it. I mean, I had my own stick uh, abroad. But my eh, ako, nasama ako sa dalawang matrix. Plotting to Kaya nga, ba't ako, ako hindi sinama? I mean, I feel kasama ko, kasama, at least kasama ko si Jollibee, no? kasama ko si Heidi Lynn, no? uh, diba? kasama ko si uh, Gretchen Ho. No? Gretchen. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a stupid, it's a stupid matrix. No? Pero, pero ibig sabihin, ganun yung pananakot. Diba? Ganun yung pananakot nila. Pero mo, NPA daw, and then the, the yellow opposition, and then the military, no? all plotting to oust the government. Tapos nakasama pa ako ron, no? As one of the major players, di ba? So, walang lalapit sa akin ang media. Walang lalapit sa akin ako dahil baka madamay sila eh. Di ba? Ngayon, iba. No? Ironically, under a Marcos presidency. O, di ba? <laughs> so, nangyayari ngayon yan, no? So, ngayon, mas iba. Kaya yung sinasabi mo, yun ang proposal ko. A national thanksgiving tour, No? ni Laila, ni Risa, once in a while kahit si Lenny, no? Tatlong Maria, di ba? Key cities, no? Key cities, punta sila. Listening tour, 
Ano bang problema niyo? Parang RRL sila. Ba- ano bang RRC. problema niyo? Ano bang kailangan gawin? Et cetera, et cetera. No? Et cetera, et cetera. So, in between... I you think build, town hall meeting and tawag dyan. Town yes, hall yes. And you build a, a machinery. No? Guys like uh, like me, kami yung maglulupa. No? Kami yung maglulupa. No? Uh, so, after one or two years, then you have the semblance of a new opposition or the semblance of a new movement, no? not necessarily opposition, which uh, partly harms the rise of the pink wave, but also... Uh, recruiting new energies from those discontented. No? Discontented with the unity. Diba? So, y- yan yung mga possibilities. Hindi ko sinabi na yun ang mangyayari. Ha? Dahil I'm just a bit player eh, like you. We're diba? just looking at scenarios diba? here. Diba? My Ganyo, goodness. Ganyo, 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 Ganyo. I was just thinking about it and you mentioned it. Speaking of unity team and unity, no? Uh, <laughs> so, remember what I said. Like, I know people are taking out their popcorns, but at the end of the day, BBM doesn't want a complete break with Duterte because, you know, it's still within his interest to keep things on an even keel to a certain degree. So recently, see, President Marcos Jr. said na pagbalik niya from America na he doesn't want mag-process yeah. itong impeachment complaint laban kay Sara Duterte. Is that a white flag or is that a damage control? Or is that a deceptive well, front, can, a cover? What's going on here? Well, we can take it at face value. Na yung sinasabi nila ay totoo. Ang problema lang, Richard, ang hirap siya i-take at face value knowing wa- what happened this past year. Diba? Pambalus laws, uh, confidential intelligence fund, no? tax boycott, destabilization, no? uh, deputy speaker, ousted, etc. So, yes, we can take it at face value, pero medyo mahirap because of what happened no? this past year, this past months. No? Yun yung ka. Ikatlo, wala naman nag-announce sa impeachment eh. If you, if you plan to impeach somebody, you never announce it. You surprise the target. No? Parang nangyari kay Erap. Yung inappoint niya na speaker, si Manny Villar, eh biglang bumaliktad no? at nakita na lang niya, ini-impeach siya. No? Ini-impeach. So, ibig sabihin, kung magkakaroon ng impeachment, if ever, hindi ko siya nasabi magkakaroon, It will be a surprise. No? It will be a surprise. No? Uh, although, hindi ganun kadali ang impeachment kay Vice President Sara dahil iba yung bilang sa Senate. Kaya kailangan mo ng two-thirds vote. Hindi yeah, ganun, medyo uh, mahirap. Yeah, you're right. That's a good pero, point. Good point yeah. Pero, Richard, some are setting the template. Some are setting the predicate which can be used for an impeachment. The two cases in the Supreme Court. Perhaps uh, a few more coming no sa Supreme Court. So, uh, hindi ko sinasabi na yan ay directly related. No? Wala kong sinasabing ganun. Para kasi wala nga talaga si I'm sure, I'm sure sila Barry, sila Shelo Magno, Barry Gutierrez, Christian Monson, wala kinalaman niyan sa impeachment. But uh, whether this is unrelated, I others can use that as a basis for impeachment. Others, yung mga mm-hmm. mga intrigero na hindi kasama tayo, Pwedeng sabihin na oh may dated Marites. line siyan. May dated line siyan papuntang impeachment, no? Katulad ng uh, sinasabi ni Congresswoman uh, Castro na hindi ko sinasabi intrigera, no? Katulad ng sinasabi Mahal niya. Natin 'yan. Oh, na maraming nag-uusap-usap, no, on the side about impeachment, no? Uh, so uh medyo nakakatawa lang dahil lahat nagde-deny ng uh, ng uh, away sa unity team. Lahat nagde-deny na, na merong break until it happened. And it happened big. It happened huge. Diba? So ngayon, wala na nagde-deny. Ay, meron pa pala. Nagsasabi pala sila na, oy, wala namang away. Oh, wala namang, uh, wala namang desktop. Wala namang coup. Wala namang... So, wala, pa, wala namang pala problema eh. No? Malulugi yung mga shows katulad mo. Uh, Richard, dahil wala naman pala. Gagawa tayo naman yung test natin. Wala naman pala eh. No? Wala naman pala. So, yan yung nakakatawa. Well, I mean, Ronald, speaking of wala naman pala, PDP oh. Laban of Digong has is bleeding even more members. no? So, base sa latest report, you oh. know, uh, yung PDP Laban of Duterte has lost more congressmen to House Speaker Romualdez's Lakas CMD. So, a press release from Seeker's Speaker's Office identified former PDP Laban lawmakers, Representative Rosemary 
Panotes from Camarin, uh, Camarinas Norte, Dale B. Corvera from Agusan del Norte, Mari meets uh, Kahayon Uy from Caloacan, and uh, all of them now taking uh, oath with CMD. Yeah. So my point is, it's, it looks like a sinking boat to me. And if you're in the Duterte camp, parang better strike now before the whole ship sinks, right? I mean, is is that a possibility that they might try to strike before? Because it's slow motion, as if, as if, as you know, as if situation, yun eh, di ba? So. Hindi lang yun. Hindi lang yun, Richard. No, hindi lang yung paghemorrhage nila. You know, rats jumping ship. Hindi ko siya sabi na rats sila. Just a, just a symbol. It's a metaphor. It's a metaphor. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wala ko siya sabi na sila ay. Uh, Uh, oh, stinky, dirty, <laughs> rotten rats. So, wala akong sinasabing gano'n. No? Carrying diseases. May nasabi, carrying rats. diseases, oh. jumping to a new party, bringing the diseases with them. So, wala akong sinasabing gano'n. No? Uh, yan yung kan. To be clear. No? Pero, no, yung, yung window nila ay lumiliit because the possibility of the ICC being permitted to enter is just a matter of months. So, if they want, if, if they want to move No, they have to move fast. No? Dahil pag nandun na sila sa Den Haag, hindi na sila, makakaka, hindi na sila makakakilo. Hindi na sila mak- unless mag-migrate sila sa China. Uh, uh, assuming tatanggapin pa sila ng China. So let, let's end on this note. Thank you so much. Katulad ng sinabi ko a few months earlier, I still expect BBM and SAR to have their holidays mga ano yan twin twinny twinny mga ganun like twinning twinning hindi ko naalaalam si Paolo Soriano pa rin na mag-creative sa kanila but I'm sure nakita mo ba yung Juan? nakita mo yung video? hindi yeah, anong video yan? nung pagdating papadala ko sa'yo nakita mo yung video nung pagdating ni ni BBM no? Uh, yung uh, nagdating From Hawaii cabinet secretary no? talagang nagsalubong si Juan Vice President Sara at si Speaker Martin talagang yeah. uh, Uh, talagang walang pansinan. No? Oh, malayo. Kinamayan, I kinamayan nila lahat. No? Picture, yeah. Except each other. No? So, so, Alam uh, na this. Uh, pwede yung walang this. ibig sabihin niya. Katulad nga nasabi. Yeah, wala naman yeah, palang yeah. away. Eh. Wala naman palang pare. No? Yeah, Yan yeah, ay just mga imagination lang na mga malisyo yeah, yeah, isip yeah. katulad na yung RR. No? Yeah. So, so, <laughs> yung isang R lang, hindi yung isang oh, R. Oh, <laughs> so, <laughs> On that so, note, yeah. thank you so much, uh, Secretary Liamas. Papahinga na kita. Ayun lang ko, busy busy ka. Let's try to catch up with RRL on RRM soon next time. But in the meantime, ang panya ka, mabuhay ka. Thank you so much, Secretary Liamas. Yeah. And uh, yeah, kausapin mo rin si Cristiano para yung Cristiano Ronaldo magsama sa atin para <laughs> full uh, blast na tayo. So, thank you so much. Hey, uh, uh, alis na ako. Kayong dalawa na lang. Ay nako, hindi, drama, hindi drama. Hindi na ako makakapagsalita niya pag kayo nandun kayong dalawa. Drama, drama. Hindi, oh, ang dalawa uh, natin. Pala si lang ako. Christian na yung uh, host. Pala lang ako. Wallflower. Hindi, si Christian na nahulat na lang. Makulit lang tayo dyan. Thank you so much, Bossing. Talk to you soon. God bless. Anytime. Anytime.